All right. Well, what can I say? We found a way to win. Uh, this is a week-to-week -week league. That's why it's the toughest conference in all of college football. Uh, proud of our players. We had a number of individuals step up and make critical plays at critical moments of the game. Uh, obviously, the big turnover at the end, uh, some big third down conversions offensively. But, uh, you know, we can't turn the football over. Uh, we turned the ball over three times, but really two. One was on a Hail Mary, but, you know, that's not in our uh, – Make up that's we've been pretty consistent all year long, but you know that's part of the growth and maturation process of a football team learning how to win. Uh, it's a week to week season, like I spoke about, and uh, just really proud of the resolve uh, and the fortitude of our players as we continue to move forward. So, I answer any questions. Which what they do to you guys offensively after the first two drives to get you off the Just They started a lot of movement up front, you know, bringing the nickel a lot uh, and just being able to block movement. Uh, we were limited in some of the quarterback run packages. But, you know, I'm never going to apologize for winning. You know, this is a hard-fought game. And we're playing a good football team. And I give South Carolina all the credit in the world. They're on scholarship. They're going to have success. We're still building. I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of our program. But we need to start being positive around here because we got kids that are giving it their all every single day. And I'm not picking on you. Uh, I've just been waiting for everything. These kids are giving everything that they have. We got kids battling that I don't talk about with injuries that are given everything that they have. Our offensive line was gritty today. We, they kept going down and down and down, and they want to go back in. And it's my job to protect these young men and protect our program. We're building something special here, and I think we all need to realize that. And I love y'all. I love Tennessee, but I want positivity because recruits want to be here. And everybody wants to be here, and we're going to build something special. So... Yes, you can ask something that may. Uh, <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, Coach, how about Sharon Barnett? You talk about people stepping up. That kid's a man, and he eight tackles. Tonight. He is. Uh, again, he's another individual who's playing with an ankle. He's playing with a knee. He's playing with everything. And this kid just gives you everything that he has every day. We haven't even been able to practice in full pads throughout the course of a week because our kids – you know, are fighting through all those things. And that's why I'm proud of them. It was a gritty win. And they're all going to be like this down the stretch. And we're still not where we need to be from a depth standpoint, but we're getting a lot out of these kids, and uh, I'm proud of them. What's that last play by Malik? Just what did you see? And I guess for him, what did that play mean? Well, it meant, it, it meant a lot. And he found a way to come up and really make a, a, a game-winning uh, turnover, create one. And then the pursuit to the ball and uh, – you know, again, I, I think we've relied heavily on our on our experiences early on in the season, uh, and uh, you know, our kids never had lost their their poise, uh, or they never looked back and said "what ifs." You know, they're playing with a lot of confidence, um, and that was great to see Malik make that play, and then us obviously recover the the fumble. This probably falls into one of the things you don't want to talk about, but you said you're living in some of your quarterback run packages. Is, is Dobbs a little banged up, or can you elaborate? You know, just some things that they do to take it away. Uh, and he, he has been banged up, you know, and he's been a warrior. And he's, you know, he grinds through it. And, you know, so it's a combination of a lot of things. And, you know, good teams find ways to win when they don't play particularly their best football. And we didn't play our best football tonight. So I agree with you um, with everything you're saying. I love you. Uh, all that stuff. But also... Like I said, the, the good teams find ways to win games when they don't play their best football, and I thought we were able to do that tonight. Oh, up up on that, Butch. How, how much did you need to see your team win a game like this, especially with some of the other games this season as a backdrop? That's exactly right. You know, part of the evolution of a football team and a football program, too, is – finding a way to win the football game when, when you know your, your players and everyone knows they didn't play their best. And I give South Carolina a lot of credit. We knew they were coming in here. We knew we were going to get their best effort. Uh, Coach Elliott has done a tremendous job of keeping that program together. Uh, we knew that they were going to play their best. But, again, 
in a week-to-week -week season to be able to find a way to win uh, like this is very, very gratifying. Now we need to get the problems corrected, which we will. But uh, I'm just happy for the players because the resiliency showed. You just said you have to get the problems corrected. What were the problems on defense that you know they dominated in the first half, and then it just something seemed to click for South Carolina in the second half? Well, I think they stayed ahead of the chains. You know, they were able to to run the ball effectively, which, you know, we take great pride in our run defense, and they established the run. So we weren't ahead of the sticks. We were really behind the sticks with the third and one, third and twos, third and threes, third and fours. So I think the first down, we, we, we made way too many mistakes in the second half offensively, particularly on first down. We had way too many negative yardage plays. And any time you have first and 15, second and 12, second and 14, that really puts your offense behind. So both sides of the ball, we have to do a much better job, particularly on early downs and mixed downs. What you did convert several third and longs from the touchdown drive and the field goal drive. What was the key <coughs> to, to being able to convert so many third and eight times? In? Protecting the passer. And then I thought Josh did a couple times of escaping the pocket and setting his feet. You know, the big third down conversion to Jonathan Johnson uh, was big. They were in cover two, and we were able to match him up on the safety. Uh, so that was big. Uh, but then, you know, we have to go down and we got to score seven. Uh, the other thing, you know, is, is the red zones. Um, you know, I thought Aaron Medley, again, uh, continues to improve. The 44-yard the, the yard field goal uh, was big for us. But um, I think it was Josh setting his feet, offensive line protection. We were able to get open. And then sometimes him escaping the pocket and setting his feet. I believe he was 9 out of 11 in throwing the football on third downs. You talked about Malik earlier. You obviously drew the assignment on Farrell Cooper a lot tonight, and you managed to keep him to four catches. Just what did Malik do well in that situation? How important was it for have a game like that just in coverage? Well, they do. They do such a great job because they move him around and they create one-on-one -on -one matchups with him. And obviously, we know he's a great football player. But I thought Malik really stepped up tonight, and everyone stepped up. Uh, and I just think, you know, being disciplined, playing with your eyes, uh, being locked in, video study, uh, all those things that we've really challenged them to elevate their game, take their game to the next level, continue to invest in it in your week of preparation. And uh, they've been doing that. How much did it affect your secondary when, when Randolph got, was ejected for targeting? Well, it's, it's hard because we already had Emmanuel out, uh, and we all know we don't, we don't have a lot of depth at that particular position. So, you know, a lot of those individuals also play on special teams. So where that starts to hurt you a little bit, too, is special teams. Uh, but, again, I, I give the kids credit. They stepped up, and, you know, we're, we're hanging on by a Band-Aid at some spots. But that's football. That's November. That's this time of year. And... Uh, but it does it that that hurt us a little bit obviously and he's the he's the captain back there he's the general he gets us lined up so anytime you take brian out of the back end of your safety communication is at a premium so please please the way the fourth quarter was your defense i mean things have gone so bad in the third quarter and sometimes right. when you see it a little bit of it's hard to get it back but they come out and they get three stops so south carolina's first three possessions just you know what did that say about those guys well it, it says a lot and there's a number of times you know where a team that, that isn't learning how to win, you give up a big play, you give up a touchdown. And when we needed a stop, they answered the call. And, you know, we always talk about playing complimentary football, and that's not just a fancy term. That means so much uh, with being able to, to play complimentary football. But, again, we have to get the, the, the run defense short up. we got to be able to stop the run. Uh, but again, we, we made plays when we needed to down the stretch. Did you expect South Carolina to run that any time? I think they rushed 40 times tonight. Yeah, you know, we expected that it would be a grinded out game. Uh, we anticipated that, you know, and it's, it's a line of scrimmage league. Uh, you know, Owen Williams stepped up and made some big, big plays for us at critical moments. We needed that. That was big. I thought Kendall Vickers did some good things from the interior as well, and I know a little bit more uh, when we get together on Monday, and I'll be able to fill you in more on, you know, after watching the video. But uh, I thought it was a gritty performance and uh, didn't play our best and found a way to win, which is great to see. Thank you. We have Alvin Kamara and Jalen Reeves-Maven right here. And again, I appreciate you. I love y'all. 
and have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Brent is very sensitive, so you know that I love you.